Hello everybody, I'm Marco Raglianti, I'm a PhD student in the Reveal Group at Software Institute Università della Svizzera Italiana. Today I'm going to present Using Discord Conversations as Program Comprehension Aid, a work that I co-authored with Chaba Nagy, Roberto Minelli and Michele Lanza. Let's start by saying why instant messaging platforms are important nowadays for developer activities. Developers file bug reports on these platforms where, for example, they can link a screenshot and a report of the bug and ask for immediate clarification about aspects that are not so clear to them. Or they might ask for code reviews by pasting snippets of code and asking people to comment them or to critique their designs and so on. We focus on Discord, an instant messaging and video conferencing communication platform that supports rich media sharing and although it was born in the gaming community, it has been widely adopted by software developers. Two of the problems of these platforms are their high throughput and high volatility. It might be hard to keep track of messages arriving in a high traffic channel, but it might be even impossible to access them later, when Discord will start to call old content to save server space. Single messages are too fine-grained, and source code is lost between them. In the end, we're missing an overview of the conversation as a whole. In order to promote conversations to first-class citizens, we propose to reconstruct conversations starting from Discord messages and applying a two-hour threshold. With this threshold, we retain 87% of inter-message time intervals. In the end, we obtain what we call quasi-real-time conversations. Conversations thus obtained can be visualized in many different ways. We can focus on messages and their types, or on time and time-related qualities. But how can we augment the representation of a conversation to support program comprehension? We use as a case study the Fire Discord server. It consists of 7 categories, 60 text channels, 7 voice channels, it has 5 years of history, 3,000 developers, half of them are active message authors, a total of about 200,000 messages. In particular, we focus on an example in the Rosa channel. Some preliminary insights. We extracted 26,000 conversations with an average time span of around 50 minutes and a length of 7 messages. When we consider those about source code, roughly 5-6%, to we can see that they are longer with an average of 29 messages, more than 4 times the overall average. Let's show what we propose as a representation of a conversation and what we extracted about it. First, there are authors on the other circle, then messages, methods, classes, and the source code that's discussed in the conversation. We would like to keep separated source code and natural language. In particular, for source code, we generate the abstract syntax tree, or at least we get a tokenization of the code. This allows us to represent code entities, and while to demonstrate our approach, we treat natural language by extracting a conversation word cloud. We keep texts in natural language separated from source code, and we extract key terms in the word cloud. In this way, source code gets its place in the conversation. Our approach managed to transform a series of messages in a conversation, where we can have a grasp of the authors involved, the type of conversation, but also an easy access to the entities discussed in the conversation both in natural language and in code. Here, for example, four people are discussing about Rossal classes to export an image for use in the web. A snippet of code is shared by Alexander Bergel to demonstrate how it's done. We can suggest this conversation whenever we are interested in the usage of the RSVG exporter class or in exporting for web. With the presented approach, we close the loop, providing support structures and visualizations we use to promote conversations about source code to first-class citizens. Thank you for your attention. I'm Marco Raglianti and this was Using Discord Conversations as Program Comprehension Aid.